Oh, 
awesome God doing amazing things, awesome God doing beautiful things, awesome God doing great things. Oh my God, giving praise, giving praise, giving praise. As you come into the house, God begin to give him praise, calling by his name, calling by his name, calling by his name. Oh my God, calling by his name, calling by his name. Oh, Holy Savior. Master, you Father, oh, we give you praise. Let Doctor Malada Raza Daru, Makada Baze, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the house. Share on your timeline. Share with your friends. One thing I want you to know this morning is that our God is no respecter of persons. The same God over all is rich unto all that call upon Him. Amen. And um, whenever you come into the house before Him, just know that there is a reason and there is something that the Lord is set to do in your life. Anytime that you still have breath in your nostrils, just know that yes, Jehovah is still interested in what has to do with you. Amen. The days of your struggles are over. The Lord has said to us that this year, not next year, this year is our year of next level. You will not just hear other people talk about their next level you too will be part of the people that will enter into that next level and you have cause to give god praise to worship the beauty of his holiness and to say thank you jesus for all that you have done in my life so children of god i want you to really 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 get ready to experience god like never before in this year 2021 and one of the things that fosters that fosters an experience with God is knowledge. Hallelujah. Can someone say with me? Knowledge. Knowledge is one of the things that fosters a good experience with God. Knowledge. Knowledge. If Hallelujah. You promise to abide Hallelujah. With me, Lord, Hallelujah. Then I will knowledge say. is one of the things that indeed ensures that your testimony remains sustained that is why scripture says my people perish why do they perish they perish for lack of knowledge that is why they perish amen so and you and i know that scriptures cannot be broken Amen. From beginning to the end. Scriptures cannot be broken. Anything you see in scripture, there is a reason why it was written. Amen. And that's the reason why everything you see in scripture should be taken very seriously. It should be taken very seriously. Look at it. In the book of Hosea, chapter number six. And then uh, and then uh, in Hosea chapter number 6, in chapter number 4, and verse 6, clearly the Bible says that people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Amen. He said, Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Thou will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
And so that is the reason why we are looking at understanding the covenant. If you were in the meeting yesterday, please can you just try and share, shed light on something that you learned or you picked from yesterday's broadcast. From yesterday's broadcast, what did you learn? What did you pick from yesterday's broadcast? Can we just have one or two comments on yesterday's broadcast? Amen. Praise the Lord. Are we still in the house? Are we still in the house? Children of God. Amen. Because today there are different kinds of covenants. There is a uh, from the scriptures we saw the Abrahamic covenant, the Adamic covenant, there is a Davidic covenant, there is all of that are available. But today there is something I want to teach on, and that is called understanding, understanding the covenant of success. I'm telling you, the way God deals with each and every one of us is by the mystery of the covenant. <clears throat> Amen. Praise the Lord. If you're still with me in the house, can I hear you say, I love you, Lord? So the, the way the Lord deals with us is actually by the mystery of the covenant. What the Lord does that he puts a covenant in place as many as you decide to to walk in that covenant they find out that it is possible for things to work for them the way they have decided it because these are already laid down rules if this is in place that will be in place that's how it works so once again, I want to welcome you to another session of our February summit called Understanding the Covenant. And uh, our focus this morning is on understanding the covenant of success. One thing is settled, everyone, everyone craves and celebrates success. That's the truth. Everyone craves and celebrates success. Not because of anything, but because it is the the the, the in and in, 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 in I don't know how to put it. It is it is the desire of every human being. It is the desire of every human being for them to to actually be successful. I'm yet to see a man or a woman that does not desire success. No, everybody desires success. Amen. If you're in the house and you can still remember something from yesterday, I'll appreciate if you can share. Amen. Now, everyone, you know, celebrates success because it is just in them to desire it. But one thing we have to understand is that uh, success does not just come from scriptures if you look through it we understand that the journey to the land of success is a covenant work amen is a covenant work and uh, understanding the covenant of success is what makes a man a high flyer but a lack of understanding of the covenant of success will just get you frustrated in the process. But I pray for you this morning, none of us will be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want us to recognize that no Christian can walk in outstanding success without engaging his demands. If you're in the house with me, say, help me, Lord, help me. Hallelujah. Oh my God, are we here together? Are we together? Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, 
I want you to get it. This is because God has his way. God has his way. If you read scriptures very well, he said that his ways are past finding and meaning that there, there is his ways. Another scripture said, as far as the heavens is above the earth, so are his. Amen. So what am I trying to let you know? God has his way and his ways are the high ways of life. Hear me, children of God. A script and consistent compliance with his ways on our part will take us to our covenant dreamland of success i don't know if you heard what i just said amen the arrival to the dreamland is a possibility oh yes god bless you god bless you that's a good one People fail in covenant work because most times they try to help God. Amen. Another thing I want each and every one of you to put on your timeline after this particular broadcast is a strict and consistent compliance with his ways on our part will take us to our covenant dreamland of success. Hallelujah. It will take us to our covenant dreamland of success. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Obedience is the binding force in the covenant. Now we are here. Yeah, we are here together. Now I feel your presence. Amen. Amen. We should always remember that what we do is that we ensure we have like a repeat of what was learned the other day so that we'll be sure that we are all in this together and we are following through praise the lord so now since we are discussing uh, understanding the covenant of success is our focus this morning i want you to check out a scripture that we all need to have as our anchor in this season and that's in Joshua chapter number 1 and verse 8. The Bible says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Hallelujah. Thou shalt have what? Good success. Good success is a possibility. Good success is a reality. Good success is attainable. Hallelujah. I don't know if I'm talking to someone. God's formula for success is in Joshua chapter number 1, verse 8. This book of the law, child of God, shall not depart out of thy mouth. Hear me. Thou shalt meditate therein how many times? Day and night. Day and night. Can someone say with me, day and night, day and night, that thou mayest observe to do. This is the problem I usually have with a lot, 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 lot of children of God. A lot of children of God, they don't want to do. They just want to arrive there. The place of doing is the secret of arrival. What did I say? The place of doing is the secret of arrival. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The place of doing. Amen. Until we take doing seriously, we cannot arrive. The place of doing, child of God, is the secret of arrival. Which destiny do you want to arrive at? What exploits page do you want to arrive at? You need to become a doer. Hearing alone will not make it happen. No, it will not make it happen. The secret is in doing. The secret is in doing. The place of doing is the secret of arrival. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. So, he said that you will observe to do according to all that is written therein. For thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have what? Good success. From the scripture above, God is saying that there are things we must do if we want to make our way prosperous. Say with me, there are things I must do. Personalize it. There are things I must do if I must make my way prosperous. Say it again. There are things I must do if I must make my way prosperous. It is not what God will do for us, no, but what he is asking us to do in order to establish our desires. That's what we are talking about. As we all know, success is not arriving at the peak overnight. No, that is magic. And that is where a lot of Christians miss it. That is where a lot of Christians fail it. They think it is possible to arrive overnight at the destination called success. Child of God, success as we all know is even progressive. It's not a particular destination because when you get to that place you think is your icon of success, before you know it you're thinking of another place altogether. So children of God, I want you to understand that success is not arriving at the peak overnight. Hallelujah. It is making continuous progress. Continuous progress. Say with me this morning, continuous, continuous progress. Yes, can I hear you say continuous progress? Child of God, success is not a destination, but an adventure. Yes. Success is an adventure which is accessible to all who dares to venture. If you can venture in this adventure, success is available to you. So when every day is a plus on the previous, we can be termed successful. Yes, your every day is to be a plus on the previous. That is what makes you what? Successful. Are we still together in the house? If we are still together in the house, I expect you to say what I say you should say so that I will know that we are together. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So what is a covenant? What is a covenant? It was one of the things that we also defined that yesterday. Amen. Mm. Children of the Most High God, if I'm to give you tips, remember that we said that covenant is between two people. But all the same, a covenant is a deal enacted by God based on well-defined terms and sealed with an oath. That is what makes covenant potent. It was one of the things I said yesterday that what makes the covenant potent is because it is sealed with an oath. Amen. It is sealed what? With an oath. We recognize that the Bible, children of God, is a book of covenant. That is why the word testament is synonymous to covenant. So you have the Old Covenant and the New Covenant, the Old Testament and the New Testament. So we recognize that the Bible is a book of covenant and engaging with every biblical covenant that is of interest to us differentiates us from the world. Hallelujah. Child of God, Deuteronomy, 28 1 to 13 you will see all that the lord has promised to do if we will do some certain things hallelujah all these scriptures i want you to pen them down and later ensure that you go through them 
Psalm 89 and verse 34. Maybe some of it we should even try and go through them. Hey, success is not for a particular person. It's not for a particular group of people. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It is for people that are ready to walk the stage of covenant obedience. The Bible says, My covenant will I not break, nor utter a thing that has gone forth out of my lips. Are you in the house with me? Can you say scriptures cannot be broken? Scriptures cannot be broken. Hallelujah. So, when you see all this type of things, you're supposed to understand and know that indeed, hallelujah, the Lord is interested in making you arrive that destination of yours. But the question is, are you interested to get there? We all know what the Bible says in Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. What are you looking for? What is your expectation from God? What are you willing to do to make it happen for you? Hallelujah. Hebrews 6. 13 to 18. All these are scriptures that point out the route to get in there. Child of God, moreover, I want you to understand that no one can stop a covenant man from arriving at his ultimate. Nobody. So far as you're a covenant child of God, so far as you're a child of God that is out, completely sold out, hallelujah, completely sold out to scripture practice, child of God, nobody can stop you. You become unstoppable. Why? Because all that covenant child is to do is to know the covenant details and to comply with them. Immediately your part is being done he is you know he is mandated to do his part because he said my covenant will i not break nor utter a thing that has got out of my lips so you just need to know your own part of the covenant and keep doing them consistently 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 refuse to miss it hallelujah child of god the covenant is superior to the climate. Nothing can stop the covenant for, for, from prevailing. Amen. Did you hear what I just said to you? Hallelujah. My God, is anybody learning something from the house this morning? The covenant, child of God, is superior to the climate. Nothing can stop the covenant from prevailing. Nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you are walking in the knowledge of what I'm telling you, you begin to experience what I call sweatless breakthroughs. Sweatless, sweatless. Amen. Whatever the sun prevails, wherever, sorry, child of God, wherever the sun prevails, the covenant prevails. Wherever the sun prevails, child of God, the covenant prevails. Oh, children of the Most High God, hmm. indeed, scriptures cannot be broken. Let's see Jeremiah chapter number 33. Jeremiah in the book of Jeremiah I want us to read something there 
Jeremiah 33, and I want to read 19 to 26. The Bible says, uh, And the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah, saying, Thus says the Lord, If ye can break my covenant of the day and my covenant of the night, that there should not be there should not be day and night in their season then may also my covenant be broken with david my servant that he should not have a son to reign upon his throne and with the levites the priests my ministers as the host of heaven cannot be numbered neither the sand of the sea measured so will i multiply the seed of david my servant and the levites that minister unto me Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah, saying, Consider thou not what these people have spoken, saying, Two families which the Lord has chosen. He had cast even them off. Thus have you despised my people, and there should no more be a nation. Thus says the Lord, If my covenant be not with day and night, and if I have not appointed the ordinances of the earth, heaven and earth, then will I cast away the seed of Jacob and David, my servant, so that I will not take any of his seed to be rulers over the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For I will cause their captivity to return and have mercy on them. Kai. As a covenant child of God, even when things are going wrong, immediately you remind the Lord of the covenant. Everything becomes okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God. I don't know if I'm talking to someone. If you're in the house, say with me again. Scriptures cannot be broken. If you do not pick any other thing from this morning's teaching, there is something I want you to pick. Pick the fact and know the fact and hide it in your heart. The fact that the covenant of God cannot be broken. The only way to break the covenant is to stop the sun from rising and to stop the sun from setting as long as the sun is rising as long as the sun is setting whatever be the covenant of god he has with you is still working and is still in place child of god look at what he said in jeremiah read it meditate it and have it in your heart he said listen to me what i said to david cannot be stopped there must always be a seed from david that will be sitting upon the throne. There must be also, always be someone from the lineage of David that will remain in the Levite's council. That this is what I have said. The only way to stop it is if you can stop the sun. And that is why we say, wherever the sun prevails, the covenant prevails. So, you are running a risk when you are not a covenant child of God. High risk for that matter. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You're running a risk. It is error for you to keep running a risk. Hallelujah. 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 Are you still here with me, child of God? Now, how can we assess this covenant of success? Child of God, number one, through wisdom. Say with me, through wisdom. Number one, through wisdom. Remember that I told you before that we saw it in scriptures. My people perish for lack of knowledge. It is important to recognize that in the school of success, wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. The Bible says so. The Bible says so in Proverbs. Proverbs 4 7. Proverbs 4 verse 7. If we read what Proverbs has to say to us, I'm sure. That we all know it. He said, Wisdom is a principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and in all thy getting, get what? 
understanding. In all thy gettings, get understanding. Amen. Wisdom is the baseline of a successful life. Child of God, please understand that the quality of wisdom applied determines the quality of results attained. The quality of wisdom applied. Wisdom applied. Wisdom applied. Wisdom applied. Hallelujah. Wisdom applied. Listen to music of love. The problem a lot of people have is that they do not apply wisdom. They don't apply wisdom. They just think that it will just work that way. Amen. Child of God, applying wisdom to your day-to-day -day living is a sure guarantor of success. Hallelujah. Child of God, in other words, what I'm trying to let you understand is that success in life, success in business, success in family, success in ministry, all is a function of the wisdom available and the wisdom applied. Hallelujah. Wisdom is what makes stars in every field of endeavor. Look at Daniel 12, 3. We all know that scripture. A soul winner is a star. You must also understand that wisdom can be applied in three major ways. There is a wisdom for direction. Amen. This wisdom for direction, you also have some scriptural backings for them. Where you will see a scripture in them. Ecclesiastes chapter number 10 from 9 to 10. In the book of Ecclesiastes is where that man helped them to, to get the job done in a walk. Amen. Okay, no. Praise God. Whoso removeth the stones shall be hurt therewith, and he that cleaveth wood shall be endangered thereby. If the iron be blunt, and he do not what wet the edge, then he must put more strength. But wisdom is profitable to direct. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Child of God. You must ensure that you have the wisdom for direction. Proverbs chapter number 3 from 13 to 16 Proverbs 3 from 13 to 16 also talks about the wisdom for direction. Children of God, these things are possibilities. These things are reality. There's another wisdom. Wisdom for the use of our mouth. <laughs> wisdom for the use of our mouth. Oh my God, some people do not know how to use their mouth. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Yes, at times the network is always very funny. Amen. Now, wisdom for the use of our mouth. How have you been using your mouth? Hallelujah. Have you been saying the right things or have you been saying the wrong things? What have you been saying with your mouth? I wish I could hear you sing it out. Oh, what have you been saying with your mouth? What you say with your mouth 
matters a lot when your destiny is involved. If it matters to Child of tonight, God, can you lift up those hands and speak in other tongues? Proverbs 12, 14. As you worship the King of kings and the Lord of lords, even in that Ecclesiastes, where we read, but this time around, we check out from verse 11 to 13. Amen. I think that that verse 11 to 13 is very important that we highlight it so that we will understand these things. Hey, child of God, until we get understanding, we might keep rolling around in circles. And because we don't want to roll around in circles, that is why we are going through these things. Our summit is a workshop. It's a teaching session. He says, surely the serpent will bite without enchantment. And a blabber is no better. A blabber. Ta, 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 talking everything and anything. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious. But the lips of a fool will swallow up himself. May your words not swallow you in Jesus' name. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness. And the end of his talk is mischievous madness. Oh my God. Be wise. Be wise. Your mouth must not say everything and anything. You must be conscious of what your mouth is saying. Child of God. As for me and my household. To understand these things you are talking about, you also need to have a working knowledge of the tax. A working knowledge of the tax involved. Some people don't have a working knowledge. They just anything and everything do. Hallelujah. Anything and everything. Children of God, this is expanded for us in Proverbs chapter number 24, 3 to 4. But we should also look at what Ecclesiastes that we have been reading say. Ecclesiastes 10, verse 15. We should also check out what it has to say to us. Amen. Hmm. Children of God, say, Help me, Lord, help me. Can you say with me? Help me, Lord. Help me. Now begin to talk to God. Amen. The Bible says in, Pro- in Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter number 10, verse 15. The labor of the foolish. We create every word. But he knoweth not how to go to the city. You will not labor in vain. Child of God, I decree and I declare. Because in this season, you will understand the covenant. You will not labor in vain. You will not labor in vain. You will not labor in vain. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare. You will not labor in vain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We didn't come to get familiar with Jesus. We came Amen. to love on him tonight. Children of the Lord, most I God. How can we assess the covenant of success? We say number one, through wisdom. And we looked at all that has to do with wisdom. Amen. Number two. How can we assess the covenant of success? Child of God, through discipline. Through discipline. Through discipline. A lot of Christians are not disciplined. 
they are not disciplined. Amen. Hear me. Indiscipline is an enemy of success. Indiscipline is an enemy of the covenant. Is an enemy of the covenant. Amen. Praise Jesus. All I want is the Holy Ghost. All I want is the kingdom. Be made manifest on the earth. Say with me, indiscipline is an enemy of the covenant. Indiscipline is an enemy of the covenant. Hear me. When we say through discipline, what is discipline? Very simple. Discipline is operating as demanded and not as convenient. Hello? Are you still with me? Children of God, hello? Amen. Discipline is operating as demanded and not as convenient. Amen. And not as convenient. It is giving our assignment all it takes to deliver it. All that it takes to deliver it, to give it to it. Some people, before you know it, they are tired. People think that it just happens overnight. No. You have to give it all that it takes. Look at the man called Daniel. In Daniel chapter number 1 verse 8. The Bible said, But Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the prince of Uno that he might not defile himself. It's a decision thing. It's a decision thing. My question this morning is what have you decided? Have you decided to walk in the covenant so that your next level will be a reality? Or have you decided to live your life anyhow? That is why we talked about wisdom first. If you can assess wisdom, it helps your decision. And your discipline will become a reality. Outstanding success, child of God, is a product of high level discipline. Believe it or not. Outstanding success is a reality. Outstanding success is a product of high level discipline. High level, high level, high level. If you are in the house, say with me, high level discipline, high level discipline, high level discipline, high level. You don't stumble into it. No, you don't stumble into it. Outstanding success, child of God. Is a reality. But guess what? It's a product of high level. Discipline. Amen. Let's see what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter number 10 and verse 22. Children of God, the grace of God will be available for us to get there. Amen. We'll get there. We'll get there. Amen. What did I say? We'll get there. Amen. Now listen to me. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful to me, but all things edify not. <laughs> that was Paul speaking. 
and we saw the level of exploits that Paul did. Even he wrote a greater portion of the New Testament more than the people that were there when Jesus was there. You can also check out 1 Corinthians 9. Child of God, I don't know who I am talking to, but I see people that will emerge. They will emerge high flyers. At the end of this summit, something will break loose for someone. Something will break loose in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. It takes discipline to go up. It takes discipline to stay up. What did I say? It takes discipline to go up. Child of God, it also takes discipline to stay up. So permit me to say to you that it takes discipline to go up and stay up. It takes discipline to go up and stay up. Hallelujah. Some people think that life is just to be lived as it counts. That's existing. That's not living life. Discipline is the ladder of destiny. Discipline is the ladder of destiny manifestation. Oh, child of God. How many of you want to manifest in destiny? Then you have to, you have to be disciplined. You have to be disciplined. Praise the Lord. I hope someone is learning something this morning. If you're learning something, can you just say hallelujah? Can you just add I love you, Lord? Amen. There is no unruly man that ever ends up distinguished. We need to do the right thing at the right time, children of God. To wake up at any time we wish, sleep at any time, receive visitors and talk to friends at will is not a path to success. <laughs> Change your lifestyle. Change your lifestyle. Amen. What did I say? Change your lifestyle. It's not a path to success. No. To wake up at any time we wish. Sleep at any time. Receive visitors at any time. Talk to friends at any time. Child of God is not a path to success. Take it from me. Hallelujah. This morning I need you to pick these words that I'm speaking to you. Engrave them somewhere. Paste it all around your rooms. Look at them every morning. You know what the Bible says? Woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a child. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know. I'm just praying that you are able to, 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 to pick something up this morning. I'm just praying. What to do your land when thy king is a child and when thy princes eat in the morning? Blessed art thou, O land, when thy king is the son of nobles and thy princes eat in due season. For strength and not for drunkenness. You see that scripture? In addition, Direction plus instruction is what equals distinction. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh my God, are you picking up something this morning? Are you picking up something? This morning's teaching is, it, 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 in fact, I am learning, I'm, 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 I'm learning. Praise God. Praise God. Child of God, instructions are the highways of distinctions.
To be a success, children of God, we must walk in instructions also. For instance, God made Jacob to ride upon his high places of the earth by instructions, not by inspiration. It happened for him how? By instruction, by instruction, by instruction. He was given an instruction and he carried out those instructions. No wonder the Lord said to us that in this month of February, we are going to emerge into our next level. How? By instruction, by instruction, by instruction, by instruction, by instruction. Hallelujah. 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 Children of the Most High God, oh, whether you believe it or not, something is changing in your favor. Something is changing in your favor. Something is changing in your favor. Can you say hallelujah? Amen. Until we do what we are expected to do, God will never do a thing in our direction. Hear me? Every act of God is initiated by man through compliance with his instructions. What instructions are you complying to? It is possible for you to initiate your next level. Your next level is possible for you to initiate. Amen. Hallelujah. I see a lot of people in the house jumping into their next level in the name of Jesus. Child of God, how then can we assess the covenant of success? Hear me, true diligence. Through what? Diligence. True diligence. True diligence. True diligence. Amen. Amen. True diligence. Child of God, it is true that success is our birthright. Oh, yes, it is true. But no lazy man has a future in the kingdom of God. That's the truth. No lazy man. Living without working is like dying without knowing. Amen. This year, you have to consciously reject laziness. Come against it with everything that is inside of you. Refuse to be confirmed lazy. Child of God, it is written. By much slothfulness, the building decayed. Amen. Are you still in the house with me? Are you still in the house with me? The Bible says, By much slothfulness, the building decayed, and through idleness of hands, the house dropped through. Ecclesiastes chapter number 10 and verse 18. We can never find a successful man who is not a hard worker. Wake up! Wake up! If we go through the story of successful men in the world, even the ones in scriptures, we will find out that there are no men, that no man ever rose to the top, child of God, who was not a confirmed, a proven hard worker. Every man of height and dignity in the world today, and even in scriptures, they are notable hard workers. All of them. All of them. All of them. I keep looking at wishful thinkers that think that things will just jump into place and fix themselves. Child of God, you must know that it's impossible to see success without diligence. It is impossible. Of course, you and I know that scriptures cannot be broken and God cannot lie. And in scripture, the Bible says to us that see it that way, man, diligent in business, he will stand before kings. He will stand before kings. He will stand before kings. Hear me, children of the Most High God. Only working hands are blessed. Because the Bible says, I will bless the works of your hands. It is only working hands that are blessed. 
rise up after this summit and react violently against failure. Whenever you fulfill the covenant obligation for success, God will back you up. Jesus, the Savior of the whole earth, said, I must walk. <laughs> Hallelujah. I must walk the works of him that sent me. In another place he said, the father walketh he tato and I walk. Child of God. This you will find in John 9 4 and John 5 17. And you just want to sit around doing nothing? Oh, child of God, it doesn't work that way. If Jesus if Jesus walked, if the Father walked, child of God, <laughs> yeah, if God the Father is walking and Jesus too is walking, who are you resembling by being idle? We are made in his image and likeness, we should resemble them. You can only benefit from the covenant of success if you are born again mind you you have to be born again first i keep asking people in recent times are you born again because you cannot even be in a covenant with him if you're not a born again child of god hallelujah our time is up children of god but i just hope that you were blessed were you blessed Child of God, were you blessed? I love you guys. The blessings of the Lord that make it rich and added no sorrow will remain your portion. Of course, we cannot leave the summit this morning without saying Jesus must be famous. Blessings upon blessings shall remain your portion in this season. Doors shall open for you. And things will work for you as you begin to operate in the covenant. Shalom.